Best cryptocurrency events, such as the failure of exchanges or currencies, can have a significant impact on cryptocurrency values. Cryptocurrency is unstable, with a history of boom and bust cycles that have many investors questioning if it's safe to invest. Want to know why? Well, global stocks have declined as a result of Ukraine's conflict, concerns about inflation. Higher interest rates will make borrowing money for businesses more expensive. This has spread to the Bitcoin industry. The current decline in November 2022 is precipitated by the failure of FTX, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges. FTX processed about $1 billion worth of transactions every day, and its demise is having an impact on other cryptocurrency exchanges. BlockFi, a cryptocurrency platform aimed at regular investors looking to cash in on the crypto craze, declared bankruptcy on Monday, owing to its financial links to FTX, the beleaguered exchange whose recent demise has shaken the crypto sector to its core. Let's dive into why it happened and how. BlockFi declares bankruptcy in the aftermath of FTX's demise. In New Jersey, the digital asset lender declared bankruptcy. The firm requested that clients refrain from adding further monies. BlockFi primarily targeted small investors, providing them with funds in minutes with no credit checks. BlockFi has filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 11 as the repercussions from the demise of cryptocurrency exchange FTX spreads to other firms in the industry. In a bankruptcy petition filed Monday in New Jersey where the firm is situated, BlockFi alleged over 100,000 creditors with liabilities varying from $1 billion to $10 billion. BlockFi, launched in 2017, stated that bankruptcy protection would permit it to stabilize and restructure the firm. BlockFi targets small investors, giving them loans backed by Bitcoin in minutes with no credit checks as well as wallets that paid the highest interests on crypto deposits. The lender stated to have over 450,000 retail clients as of last year. BlockFi is not the first cryptocurrency lender to declare bankruptcy. Two of its competitors, Celsius Network and Voyager Digital, went bankrupt within a week of each other in July. BlockFi becoming the latest victim of the financial instability released by the fall of Sam Bankman frieds business. BlockFi suspended withdrawals earlier this month, claiming substantial exposure to Bankman frieds FTX exchange and its sibling hedge fund Alameda. BlockFi initiated a lawsuit against Bankman Fried's Emergent Fidelity Technologies vehicle soon after filing for Chapter 11, requesting that he give over collateral that BlockFi alleges it is entitled. According to the Financial Times, that collateral is 7.6% of Bankman Fried's ownership in the online trading software Robinhood. BlockFi stated in its bankruptcy case that it owes money to over 100,000 creditors. BlockFi owes $275 million to FTX, its second largest creditor. BlockFi has about $257 million in money on hand, which the business believes will provide adequate liquidity to support it during the reorganization process. According to the statement, the corporation estimates its assets and liabilities to be between $1 billion and $10 billion. Layoffs will be part of the reorganization. Soon after FTX's demise, Genesis lending arm froze redemptions and current loan originations due to an abnormal volume of withdrawal demands that exceeded its present liquidity, blaming market instability caused by FTX's bankruptcy. FTX began to collapse in early November when investors became concerned about its connection with Alameda. The aftermath ends with a score of four points. One, an amazing rise and collapse, the spectacular rise and decline of Sam Bankman Fried, the man behind FTX. Two, collateral damage. BlockFi, a Bitcoin lender aimed at regular investors looking to cash in on the crypto craze, declared bankruptcy on November 28th due to its financial links to FTX. Three, a symbiotic relationship. Mr. Bankman Fried founded FTX to support the trading operation of his first company, Alameda Research. The interaction between the two entities is now under review. 4. Missing Assets According to FTX's lawyers, a significant portion of the company's assets were either stolen or went missing, casting doubt on retrieving billions of dollars in cryptocurrency that clients lost. The agreement also granted FTX the option to purchase BlockFi. According to bankruptcy records, BlockFi acquired $275 million from a division of FTX. Because of this financial entanglement, when FTX collapsed and was obliged to declare bankruptcy due to exposure to business errors and suspect management, BlockFi started to struggle as well. BlockFi informed users a few days after the exchange's demise that they could not remove their deposits because the firm had substantial exposure to FTX, including extra funds expected to be used under the contract and other assets stored on the FTX platform. BlockFi stated in its 
its bankruptcy filing on Monday that it had around $257 million in cash available to assist fund its operations during the bankruptcy. According to court records, the corporation has over 100,000 creditors and $10 million in assets and obligations. BlockFi also stated that it will prioritize recovering all debts owed to the firm, including those owed by FTX. It did, however, warn of potential delays in retrieving assets from FTX due to the exchange's insolvency. The Securities and Exchange Commission struck a $100 million settlement with the corporation's lending arm in February for providing loans before filing them as securities and failing to register itself as an investment company. BlockFi was also found to have made false and deceptive claims regarding the amount of hazard in its loan portfolio and financing activities, according to the SEC. According to its bankruptcy petition, BlockFi still owes the SEC $30 million, putting the country's highest securities regulator its fourth-largest creditor. West Realm Shires, the parent company of FTX's U.S. Exchange and BlockFi's second-largest creditor, owes it $275 million. Ankara Trust Company, which specializes in handling debts for failing enterprises, is its largest creditor, with a $729 $9 million loan. According to bankruptcy court filings, Valar Ventures, which is partly sponsored by internet billionaire Peter Thiel, controls 19% of BlockFi. Following FTX, Voyager Digital, and Celsius Network, BlockFi is the fourth crypto-focused business to request bankruptcy protection this year. BlockFi declared on Twitter that it was halting customer transfers as a result of FTX's demise. The FTX implosion has also affected several cryptocurrency values and the NFT market. BlockFi was launched in 2017 by IT entrepreneurs Zach Prince and Flory Marquez with funding from Acuna Capital and Coinbase Ventures, among others. It began experiencing financial difficulties in July and required a $400 million rescue from FTX. This huge turnover shifted a rocking crypto agency towards bankruptcy in a quick period.